Hello out there in YouTube land. I'm live. Hello out there in... But a little bit of a lag there. It's 3.43. And I know, I know, there's all kinds of videos going on out there. So, um, basically, I want to um, invite you, if you've decided to play along with the... Um, Zen's own red girl to ask any questions that you have. Nothing too silly and nothing that, that, that I don't have an answer for. So I'm going to leave that screen on for just a minute and then we'll talk about what I'm going to do today. Give it a few more minutes. And I'm going to take off. Excuse me. Alrighty, I'll talk to you guys when you get here. So, let me see if I can take this banner off. Is it a banner? Is it a brand? Okay, did it go off? Don't use something until you figure, oh, that's an overlay. Okay, there you go. Howdy doody, I did it. <laughs> All right. Those of you who've been watching a while, oh, crap, I forgot to turn off. Oh, Vicky, Vicky, Vicky. Now, you know when I do this after the fact, that I have to refresh. So <clears throat> remember, I need a keeper. Remember to um, remind me to turn off autofocus. Okay, I'll be black for a few seconds and then I'll be back. Hello, I'm back. How about that? That was painless. So y'all remember the um, collage I did a couple weeks ago with, um, I think there's a Robin McClendon's July printables. And I had so much fun with this and everybody else enjoyed it so much. I'm going to do another one. And this is from a group of slides Robin posted on her Patreon page. So if y'all aren't down with her Patreon page, you really get some cool stuff. So I thought with all the darks and lights that she'd be really pretty. Um, if I can pull her off in a kind of sepia tone. And I got to decide how I'm going to do this. So first thing, I'm going to pick out some darks. Now, in a perfect world, I would have these things already torn out. But I don't. And I'm going to get a water brush and tear these just a little bit better. 
This one's just about empty. They're easy to fill though. It has a plunger and you just scroll it up to the top and it comes out all over you if there's any left. And then dip it down in clean water and turn it the other way. Hey Gail. And voila, it fills it back up. This is a little cutie that I got <clears throat> on AliExpress. What you been up to, Gail? Taking care of that new puppy? And then, of course, you're supposed to tear it on the wet spot. Put those up there. Now, if I want to stick to, also thing I like, you can clip it on your, keep up with the lid. Yeah, if I were going to do very many of these, I would have collections of darks and lights. Oh, yeah, I forgot that darn autofocus. These are great sepia tones. July Printables just came out over the weekend, so next week. I'll be doing something with those and maybe another one of these. Kind of a quiet weekend here. We've kind of been focusing on stuff other than TV, except for movies. And there's that. Ooh. Those help with mouth assist. Yeah, I know. She's awesome. That is so light, but you know what? I've got some light. I'm just gonna... These are printed on um, onion skin. You can see all this rust color would be great. And I just got some new cockle onion skin. Not using blue today, baby. That piece of paper was crying. Oops. 
high class water brush here, baby. I think I need a brazier. Can you hear me, Gail? Hey, Joycey. Deborah, good to see you. Why does my camera go out, I wonder? I mean, my audio. Testing, testing. Okay, it's over there. All right, let's try it now. I've been doing so many videos for the Zen Zone that I had to shift gears to do this today. Second one came out Sunday. And they're not going anywhere, so they'll be there when y'all get ready for them. And this is Tuesday's Q&A, so if anybody pops in and has any questions, let me know. Yell at me. A lot of dark. I'm just going to take that whole page. You'll have a time, Gail, when you get, when Peppy starts sleeping more. I'm going to save that whole page. And summertime is a lull for a lot of people. It's kind of like, kind of like downtime. I do my downtime after the first of the year, and then by March or April, I've got a new idea and I want to take off. These are Robin's June printables. That one's pretty good too. I'm just looking for color. I want that rusty color. I know I've got some in here that will work for all the lights. That's no big deal. Okay, I think I'm going to close that one up. Now, her um, the link to her printables, uh, I don't think I've got it in the bottom of this. I should have. It's uh, robinmcclendon.teachable.com. And I'm going to put this one up because I don't think I need it. And this is a couple of Rachel Sewerings little pieces. Oops, that was another lady I was thinking about doing. All right. Okay, here we go. I got the glue stick. I got the fiber tack. Let's see how that's doing. I've got videos one a week with a project ready to go through August into September. So I'm rather proud of myself. Okay, so the first thing we do 
is get the darks, the darkest darks. I want a little sliver of that. That'd be perfect right there for her little eye. And just tear this down. And pop her down. Fab, um, uh, hoo will work pretty good for all of this because it is the onion skin. Yes, there's one eyeball, and I'm gonna put the other eyeball in, even though it's mostly dark on that side. And it doesn't have to be the same, so I can do this. Same process, I'm just going to kind of lightly tear out a kind of get her up. Looks like I kind of kind of drew her a little crooked, but that's okay. I think I saw a knife under here the other day. Russell, Russell. Well, poopy. I'll just cover it. How about that? All right. Set out, set out. We've got an upper lip. Let's see what we can do here. Y'all working on anything fun? That's close. And let's see her lower lip is <clears throat> lighter than that, so I can make a little correction there.
and I just tore off the wrong part. Oh, yeah. Smoothie's good. Start over. I'm sure there's a piece laying right there that I could use, huh? And that one needs to be darker because the shadow is hitting over that mouth, so it needs to be fairly dark. Voila, gotta get rid of that white. Didn't get her dark enough. I think I got the other side darker. Easy peasy. Okay, now we need a triangular piece under the nose or a couple. Couple of them. And I want something different if I can find it. I think that's what makes these so much fun is that, yeah, I know, fun. That could go right there. That's the ball of her nose right here. And then we could tear that diagonal. Like that. And that will be the, the triangle and the ball of the nose. Perfect. Anybody watch me for the first time is going to say, do what? Perfect. Yeah. Yeah, it is, as a matter of fact. Good piece for the over the eyelid. I'll never forget my one of my portrait tutors. There's professional jealousy there, of course, like there is with almost everything. And I'd painted a a face, and it was kind of a harsh technique. I don't need that in there. Well, you do now because you just ripped it, goose. And I did the eyebrows like this, where it was a continuous line up and over. And uh, 
he asked me, he said, where'd you learn how to do that? And I mentioned the name of another tutor that I'd had. And I was told, don't do that again. And I had to laugh. I need that whole piece of dark back. Kind of patchworky. Yes, that is a technical phrase. I need that little piece right here. Then I need a light. Yeah, now we're supposed to be doing darks first, but it's pretty light. I'm going to use a piece of this from Rachel with the writing on it. Rachel is in Robin's design team with me in Potty Tully Parish. And our friend Corey took a break for a little while. So now this fits over the eye in a nice little curve. Well, now you're not going to get the, the writing. Okay, so let's do this side. Nice little curve. And square it off. Man, bond papers tough. This is just kind of a quarter moon shape. Yeah, then. And we've got another dark that comes down beside that. And here, actually, comes in right about there. Okay. Okay. Okay, dokie. Now we've got some pretty dark. This whole thing is dark, but that's the shadow. It's the it's the form curve on her face, and it's not quite as dark as the inside shadow. So I could use a piece of this. Check and chat. Eighty-eighth birthday. Mine is going to be ninety-four, I think. Okay, so this circles here. How are we going to do this? Take that off because I want that curved right there by the eye.
in a piece of, yeah, it is. It's getting a little bit lighter down there. So this just curves around that cheek. Now like that. I mean cheek, chin. It's actually a little straighter. Can't believe I'm doing this again. It's what people being ecstatic over it does for you. Makes you forget how painful it was. And then dark, dark. Easing into the dark, about like the, well, you know what? No, that's about right. In a different dark. I just made a little good for you right there. Now that little thing is part of the headdress and I need something light light. really more the shaded area. Let's try that again, Missy. Let's do the whole shape.
I'm just going to get a piece of the white bond. Put a little sliver right in the middle. It's too big. Yeah, let's put the dark dark around it and then I'll see if I need to darken up the edge. I'm checking. Hey, back, back. It's a little bit better. I'm going to go ahead and put that one down. A little bit. Mm -hmm. Easy enough. And now then underneath it we'll put a little piece of dark. And on the other side we've got a piece coming up there. medium dark. This teaches you an awful lot about values. Because if you get the values right, color doesn't matter. That's not a good one. Okay. <laughs> hey, there's so much other stuff going on. I bet there's probably 50 people. Uh, I'm spinning at the same time. But that's okay. I just appreciate y'all being here. And anybody who tunes in on the replay, you can fast forward some of these pieces or some of this footage. Okay, now we need a light. 
Let's pick a little bit more of Rachel's. Right here for her upper lip. Yeah. Very good. Nope. Nothing that a little, little ink won't fix. Some light light. Now that comes. We need a little more dark right there. Oh, we don't need to sing the Adams family, do we? And that's pretty good. Okay, time for drink water. Pause that refreshes. Now then, let's see what we can do right here. Middle of the nose. I want just a little sliver. There you go, there you go. And we need a little more light, light. For the shape under her cheek. Took a little daydream there for a minute. And then we've got a real thin line. <laughs> That's going to be fun. It will be fun. Underneath.
that like that a little white shows and then we just need another more little piece of something something right there look how we're doing <laughs> hey Deborah back again and uh, uh, Jillian is usually lurking in the back too. Okay, now we need a light light again. For this part of the forehead. And that can come all the way across. How do you do? Come like that. And then another piece. Same value, but um, whoops. I need it. Need another little piece right here. Same value, but different print, different color, different hue. Okay, now medium here over the nose area. I didn't do that up right yet. That can fit right there. This is kind of like a jigsaw puzzle. Now we need a piece of dark over that. That'll work right there. There's just a little sliver of white in there. And now we go to a medium on the other side of the eye. You notice how I just completely got out of the dark first mode? Yeah, a little piece of light over that eye. It's very, very, very not white. <laughs> And if you were painting this, what you could do in Photoshop is bleh, lighten it, lighten your image so the did I move? I did. That moved. Um so you could see into those shadows. And now dark, dark down the side of the nose. Okay. 
It's, it's like it was just made to go there. It was silly. Medium, different medium. And there we go. And we need a yeah, minor than that. How about this? I think, I think that might work. Here's my eye. I need a little bit of dark under that eye because it's not reading correctly. Sliver of the medium. Darken this just a hair right there. Underneath the mouth. And now some light. Some medium. Mm -hmm. 
catching my rhythm here. If you like it, you can put your fingernail down. Just capture a little bit of it. can't imagine doing this for your gallery art. I mean, assuming there were galleries. Talk about putting an end to the art world. I will be selling my pieces that I make for Zenzone. I will be selling those. Online. Oh, look at it. That little piece almost matched. And I don't want it over. Come on now. Play with me. Right, that little piece might work right up there because we've got a little mid-tone right up here. Look at that. Would you just look at that? I see somebody typing. Oh, thank you, Deborah. Well, I want y'all to be able to work on stuff. She is kind of beginning to look like something. Don't hit the trackpad. I guess I could move this. Stay away from it. If you're going to be that sensitive, stay away from it. All right, here we go. Now we've got one more piece, and that one is kind of, kind of dark, kind of in between. That'll work. Now, if I've misjudged the um, the values on any of this, I can put another piece of paper back on top. <laughs> hey, you need a light piece? <laughs> Woo! It's called a glue stick applicator.
I'm gonna put that down just make sure that I've got a light right there by her chin. And I'll probably put some more up in here. So now moving right along. I need to darken that just a little. That'll work. I don't want to cover that. I kind of lost something up in here, but there's her eyebrow. It's not reading just really good, but we'll get it. We will get it. It's not white. It's light light. Like that. Not good. Well, that's because that's her eye. Well, you knew that. It's too light. Too light, my dear. Okay, let's move on. Maybe a little dark right there at the corner of that mouth. Yep. And I need dark in here. Actually, it goes more like that. And then the white. Bond paper is hard to tear little pieces like this. I don't like that, but I can cover it later. Remember how the other one just came to life when I did the the little scribbly black outlines on her? That's legal. Now then, let's work on her headdress. Looks like it's metal little balls, like ceramic balls or something. It'd be great if I could pull that off as a ball. Almost. It's about the right size. So that little baby could go back there. They don't have to be perfectly round. Works a whole lot better on the other end. I 
don't know if I have a punch this size, but it will be too perfect. To my little Buddha lady. I probably should put something under there first. I think that's probably what I should do. Okay, just take those off. you're thinking yeah we're gonna put was on there, wasn't it? I'm not sure it was. It's going to be, though. Now. Now. This goes down here. And this goes here. Start getting a little bit darker. Starts getting shaded. Right there. And then it gets darker as it goes down that side. Nope, I want to. So we got another of those little ornaments right there. We'll put that right there. Yeah, a little pin work, little India ink pin work on that will be fine. And this is perfect. And the other half of that, where it's hitting the sun. And look at this.
can't just place yourself where you want to go. Okay, so that goes right here. Then it fits better. Oh, oh no. And then we've got another little piece of it right here. And then a medium. And then cover part of that with some dark. But, uh, because that's going into the shadow here. And I've got some more going up that side. That works. Quit trying to sneak into my party. And now I need a lift strip. Make a dark round. Do we or don't we? No, nope, actually. There, there, there. That's a medium. A uh, medium. Okay, check on you guys again. Nefertiti. Yeah, it could be Egyptian. I bet it is because some of the pictures were in there. No, I don't know. She's a statue from Egypt, I think. Deborah's right. Some of Robin's printables that month were Buddhas and statues and things like that. Uh, I think it's a female. Well, you know what? Those Egyptian boys. <laughs> <laughs> okay now we need light <laughs> stop it and now we need to fix this perfect that's like Egyptian That side coming on down. Okay, so that piece right there. Just follow what you drew on there and you'll be okay. That beautiful thing. This is from an Indian woodblock print. And if anybody loved me out there, they would find one and send it to me. It's about this big. It's probably ancient. Oh, me. Okay, so. Where are you 
that one. I've got quite a few. Okay, that's good. Small blocks, but I don't have any of the big border type. Values. They're just about the most important part of painting artist. This isn't painting, but it might as well be. Look. We're making good time here. Dark fits up here. Nothing over here in the pile. Just want it to be a different dark. Now, the, the reason for the patterns and everything being from a different piece is for that little deal I talk about where holding someone's interest, if they see it from across the room, all they see are values. If they see it up close, they see details. So all you're doing is uh, wetting their imagination. It doesn't make a flip a difference. To the overall piece it helps if you get something on your thumb. <laughs> it's the same in painting. Give them something to look at. Details. It could be the same value. Let's say this is value 5 on the 9 or 10 color scale. And this is an 8. And then this would be a 2 or a 3. And this would be a 1 or a 2. If you stick with all 5 in one area, from across the room it's going to read as a solid dark. That probably isn't dark enough. But that's the beauty of it. Now let's go on into mediums. And then somebody gets up close to it and they're going, oh, wow. Look, there's a story in there or whatever. Mm 
You want to talk about patience. Daughter Betsy has five kids under the age of 11 and finds time to skate, roller skate now. She did six miles yesterday. That's her. method of staying sane. Sometimes the kids go with her and sometimes they don't. Now on up, whitish. They live in Denver. I can't believe I haven't been to see them in so long. Now if I just pop that below. Below where those little bumps are. And that's not coming over that far. Apparently it's a challenge, the 365 days. Alrighty. Oh, she's coming to life over here. This whole area is dark. Thank God for inexpensive ink jetting.
Let me just keep doing it. Keep doing dark. I think that's the hardest part of it done. But just think how hard it would be if you didn't have the appropriate papers to pull from. That's what makes it easy. Okay, now let's start over here. We've got the same thing, those little bumpy dudes. Not want to tear off that one. She even roller skates on the wood floors in their new house. Aren't you asking for trouble? No, it's okay. They got a finish on them. I'm okay. Since Kevin, her husband, is the guy who renovated the house in the first place, if he says it's okay, it's okay by me, that's for sure. I kind of could have taken a little more care with drawn this and gotten it a little more centered but I was in a hurry hey look at there goes right around that dark spot You just look at that. Let me check on you guys. <laughs> Y'all are cracking me up. Oops. <laughs> We're sticking. I got to do some work over here. That's not reading right. But we'll go on over here. Mm -hmm. It could be Zen. I mean, if you just had your music on and Thinking about the, whoops, I guess that was meant to be there. Think about the supper your husband's going to bring home to you. You could do some zen. I had to work on some oil stuff yesterday and it was painful. was depressing because I've been doing more of this than that.
Okay, so we need some dark coming coming up there. Wait a minute, that's dark. I think we're okay. She says. Kind of like putting the puzzle together. All right, now we've got some dark. Where are you? Dark shadow right in here. Not quite that big on the. It's meeting. Well, you know, it's about time to be done when your fingers start sticking together. Now that's that same piece I keep picking up. I need something different. Scraps be gone. And I'll go and show them that tree small. And you know, when Randy comes in, he doesn't even have to ask what I've been doing all day. Playing with paper. Yeah, we need more dark. See if I care. Take that piece off. Put it right here. I need mark. Thank you. 
Okay, time for a wet wipe. Good grief. It's about stopping time. I guess we could quit and I could uh, finish this on Thursday. I've been doing other stuff. Ooh, she's looking good in the camera. Dang, Vic. Come in with some charcoal and... Sometimes forget where you are. Now, all of this can be dark or Would you just look at that, Nadine? Joycey knows the signs. Vintage <laughs> onion skin just falls apart in your hands. And that's mimicking the the lines there with pin work. I'm just about through with this part.
feces and parts. Remember the onion skin has a front and a back, so I mean it bleeds all prints all the way through on the onion skin. So theoretically you could use any color you want. Cut those little pieces off later. And that needs to be a dark. Let me look at her. Ooh, that's kind of scary. And then the top of that, we can whip that out pretty quick. That, one, that way I won't put her to bed so scary. Let's just put that. Because we're going to come back over this with the little circles. Okay, you can stay there. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. I don't care who you are, that's funny. And then that starts getting darker over there. Now we don't want that much texture. Alrighty, so we got just a little sliver. And then this is not bumpy things, that's medium. All you got left, except for fine tuning it, straighten that out. It's tearing some balls. I love tearing balls. I'm not sure this is going to work, but we're going to try it. Nothing ventured, nothing gained, and you're not hurt anything, because this is, after all, a journal. Dark side goes. Dark side to the left. I'm trying to find pieces that have a little light and a little dark. 
when I come back with like a sketch sketch of marsh pencil or something like that let's put something up up at the top so it'll kind of begin to read one This one right over here because it's a little dark speck on it. I'm not sure that that's working, but we're going to need some help with some pencils. That's for sure. you do that? Yeah, I've got some that are about half and half through here. I don't think that's pulling that off too much. I mean, I don't think it's working that well. Let me put it that way. I think I'm going to do that with pencils. Kind of like. Hold my beer and watch this shit. So we got to come around. Then around and around and around and around. Yeah, see this way I can kind of get a that and a shadow piece. And, whoops, I'm on the, on the wrong deal. Those are bad. That's okay. It's my Cleopatra. I can do whatever I want with her. <laughs> mm. 
This comes all the way across. And then we have half dots. And then over down here in a line. And a line. And then dark. And we have a line. And a line. And dark. We have dark shadow. We have that. And that. And then we have just a little bit poking out right there. And more dark. So here's my little wheel thing. So I can come under there with that. And come up like that. And then this one comes down. And this really isn't cheating. There's no cheating. These. Okay, don't worry about that right now. It's okay. Up here we have, first of all, we've got lines from here. To here. And we got line. That's good enough. And then we've got that. Light is shifting, so now the shadow's different. I don't know why that is. Looks like she's got some broken knots up here. And then we have that. have some don't ask me why the light is shifting around Where's our little thingies on this side? Should be right in here. I need a little glue right there.
All right, who's still with me? <laughs> I hate pig. <laughs> Drop the garage door on you, hey. All right, now I'm going to come in here with this same pencil and do her mouth a little bit. And then this is an eye, believe it or not. I'm just darkening some things. Giving it some cohesion. Scribble, scribble. That's scary. Let's darken a little bit around her chin so she doesn't look like so much like a man. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Scribble, scribble. Do I want to wet it? Let me get that. Without tear brush again. Just because it's so cool. I didn't say anything about pulling up a blue. That's all right. I meant to do blues. Scribble, scribble.
just remember there are no mistakes. Let me look at her over there. Better. Mm. I put the pencil I was using up. Of course you did. <laughs> My brush ran out of water. Doesn't hold much. Not going to win any awards, but you know, we're not after awards anyway, are we? And this comes down. I bet you. Anything that's an effort, Edie. Okay, there you have it. Any questions? Oh, thanks, Deborah. Happy giggles. Yeah, they love to giggle. <laughs> and of course, my drawing's out. This should come down lower, which wouldn't be that hard to fix. If I could find my different pencil, never heard anybody did it. Yeah, the beauty of that, supposedly, <laughs> is that you can still see the collage under it and finished it off in just half a heartbeat with a pencil. So, there you go. There's my two-page spread on collage women. And that was fun. If y'all haven't checked out the Zen Zone number two, <laughs> she kind of got dressed all over again. I like the way all this shadowing turned out looking at it in the, in the reverse. That's pretty cool. I'm not unhappy at all with that. Okie dokie, anybody got anything else to see? Oh, thank you, Deborah. You're so sweet. So sweet. And I'm just going to leave this one white as well. I'll tell you what, I could go ahead. Nope, not what I was looking for. Let me get that. Scribbly pen will just finish her off. That was probably it, and I'll never find it again. I found it. Now then, this is a 0.25 marker. 0.25. AliExpress, of course. Now to just do the scribbling, just make sure the pen's going to work. Okay. 
You can scribble. You can go all the way around. You can go back on yourself. You can do whatever you want. And I don't think this thing likes glue. There it is. Scribble, scribble. Not much, but just a little finishing touch. Alrighty, I'm going to over and out this thing, and I will let you know on Thursday if I'm coming live. Man, too bad her... Ear pieces aren't the same, but you're always harder on yourself than you are everybody else. Now that one's real close. What happened to this one? Oh, I see. If it had been darker through here, it might have been. Oh, well. It's close. Nobody will ever see the picture with it. Alrighty. I love you guys. Thanks for coming. Bye-bye.